Uh, greetings, family. This is Bomani Tamba. Welcome to our Africa Tours conference call. And today's date is December 15th, 2019. And uh, we're here to talk about our tours um, South Africa, November, Ghana in May and December, and uh, Senegal and Gambia in uh, April. So all of these are schedules that I just mentioned um, is on our website. The next one I have to put is for December 2020. Uh, so I look forward to do that in the next uh, few days. But uh, that's the sequence of tours that we have for uh, 2020 and also we we'll duplicate the same thing for 2021. Uh, so if those who are planning and you're not ready for 2020, then you have 2021. All right, so family, I'll be, um, I'm your tour organizer. Um, so anytime you need to communicate with any information while I'm here, you can email me, text me, or just um, like communicate with me through whatever other means that we communicate through. And the goal is to just make sure everything is clear with everyone before everyone is committed to uh, the uh, journey. Uh, so what um, I've set up is a, a conference call, a newsletter that um, we send out once a month. And a lot of the stuff is the same sequence of information because in order for us to go over everything, we just put everything on one conference call um, a newsletter and then do our best to go through it. Uh, sometimes it takes... Uh, two to four conference calls to go all, go through all the details, but the most important thing is all of the access information is right there for you, and what I'm mainly doing is just going over information in summary and answering different calls and then making sure everything is recorded and documented you know, for um, you know, business and um, you know, business purpose. Conference call, uh, it's titled Africa Tourist Conference Call, Sunday, December 15th. Uh, for Senegal, the Gambia, and so South Africa, and Ghana. Alright, so what I have is um, one of our last group shot. This is a Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour, May 22nd to June 4, 2019, and Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour, November 16th to the 26th, 2018. Now, those are the last two tours before we did our South Africa in November 2019 uh, journey. Uh, so, next conference call, uh, email that we have with us update some of those uh, photos in there. But uh, this document is set to where I have the updated dates on the upcoming conference call and also just any need to know or important information. And so while you're starting on the conference call, I'm going to just go over a few things. Um, the main thing is it just give you a direct introduction, but after the direct introduction, we will point to you that we have a conference call recording now, all the conference call recordings uh, is right there on our YouTube page where I do my best to record all calls and just edit them and just make sure we have a documented recording. So you can click on this link and you'll just see all of the calls for the last uh, few years. So anytime we do a new call, uh, you can always just, just usually give me anywhere from a few days to about a week later and the, the call will be uploaded uh, online. But at the same time, too, I usually just send it out via email for those who we have on active uh, tour email list. Uh, these are a few things they read before we actually get to the, uh, the conference call topics. And so what I have uh, on here is just these are just to just give people, give you this important update. So whenever you see this email, just take your time and just look through it. Uh, some of the things you may see is the same, but uh, you'll see the different, uh, but at the same time, too, all what you see is what's uh, important that you need to be clear on. All right, so what we have said is uh, accepting deposits for all tours that we have. Uh, right now, uh, the Senegal and the Gambia is the next tour that we're literally working on to build a nice, uh, nice basic group and then duplicate the same journey for April of 2021. And the goal is to do the same thing that we just did in South Africa, just get a feel for the, the new modern energy of Senegal and the Gambia. Um, and then just lay things out by just you know, moving around with a small group and just uh, plan for the future. And so when you scroll down the link, what you see is I would say uh, payment options link and all these links are you can go right to the website and you see these links on the main menu. All right, and uh, as I have these uh, tour dates and tour links in front of me, goes when, once you scroll down, um, before you get to the actual topics, It'll give you a list of all the active tours that we have going and the actual tour link where you'll be able to click on it and see all the tour information, including 
tour overview, general terms, day-to-day uh, -day itinerary, and for countries like the Gambia and Ghana, you'll see visa information, and then all the tours itself would have a preparation and departure list, which is all of the important things as far as baggage and this all important movements that you need to make to get prepared. Let me just go back through this one more time. So family just came back from South Africa Roots and Culture Tour November 22nd to December 2nd, 2019. And you can go to our YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash Bomani2007. And then scroll right down below uploads and you'll see the link for the videos that we have. Uh, it's 36 videos and I have a lot more to upload. I uh, just need a little time to upload them. We just usually try to spread them out. And for the photos, we have a gallery for Johannesburg and for Cape Town. That can be found on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Bomani. And when you get there, you just click on photos and then you see the gallery. And that's where we store all of the photo galleries for all of the tours that we have. Uh, some people may not be, may not have a Facebook account. I'm not telling you or recommending that you get one, but uh, you can still find ways to access access it. But Facebook is one of the unique ways we have to store pictures, just like YouTube is one of the unique ways you have to store videos. And for the most part, they let me upload a, a ridiculous amount of videos and pictures on both of those networks. So it's and you know we don't have the bandwidth and the setup on our own website to just host that amount of storage and make it as efficient. And you know, so uh, all these stories that we do, that's what you look, you can guarantee from us, a photo gallery and a video gallery of all the videos and photos. So if you've never been on any of these journeys and you want to get clarity of it, the ideal thing to do is to look through all the photos and look through the video galleries of that tour. And you'll see you know, people just like you tour and you'll see me in a few videos, I'm mainly just shooting the videos to get all of the documentation down, especially when we and there's a tour guide that knows they're talking about and they're sharing good information. I try my best to you know, document it. Uh, next tour, uh, which is what we're leaving on, Ghana Repatriation and Investment Tour, December 22nd to January 4th. So we're literally leaving in nine days. And the last set of things that we have gone over, I made sure that everybody has a plane ticket and they can access their ticket. Now, some of what you're booking may be on Delta and KLM, so you have to log into the relative uh, website. Uh, add your special meal, meal chain seats, uh, request special upgrades, and things like that. So the booking, and everyone was given a uh, Delta Airlines receipt, which once you get that receipt, they'll have your booking to where you can click on it and you open it. Uh, so it's up to you to be clear on everything and make sure that everything looks good. And if something needs to be changed or you need to stay longer or something and um, you need me to help you with that, that's fine. Just reach out to me and we'll be able to just uh, help you as best as possible. Uh, but this is a sequence when you're dealing with, uh, right now it's 28 of us, um, and we the last journey we had to South Africa was 13, but even if it's just a few people, it's still you know, a sequence of what you're doing. Um, hotel reservations, transportation, meals, uh, sites, and um, you know, night events and things like that. Uh, make sure that we have a full schedule to you know, get you um, connected to the country. But the main thing is that, that you're clear on everything and that uh, you're ready and prepared. Uh, so all the information that's uh, on these links is just for that direct purpose. And some of the sequences I want to talk about uh, in uh, the Ghana tour is uh, it's a simple laid out tour. It's four days in Accra. First day is our travel day when we get there. The second uh, day we go up to the mountains. Uh, the third day we do a city tour. The fourth day we go to our prom prom to visit Memorial Wall. Uh, so you'll see that laid out on the itinerary and you can just flow the day-to-day -day schedule. Uh, and the goal is to finalize the schedule and when we put it in the book, we're looking to just get everyone to process the schedule and we'll go, do our best to go over the schedule when we're on the bus uh, in the morning and in the evening. Uh, that way everybody can be clear about what's going on. But the goal is when you write these schedules, is for us to follow it to a T. That way everyone is clear about what we're doing and there's no, no confusion of if we're going to do something or not. The updates are always going to be on the bus because that's when we have everybody's attention. Uh, so whenever we actually attention, um, this, you know, when we say a go, this respond, I made this to confirm that we have your attention so we can go over and share what we need to share to update you. Uh, so if you're talking to someone, you just stop and then just give, give us the short amount of time to go over everything. And 
Uh, with me, that and I'm clear about everything. So one of the things I don't deal with is that someone is coming up to me, asking me what we do and what we do in every minute when we went over schedules and and things like that. I'd rather people come up to me, ask me a question about the site that we're going to, and things like that versus you not being because that means, you know, if you don't understand the schedule, there's a bunch of other things that you probably didn't went over. But the biggest issue that we have with people is when they travel and they they're not clear about what we're doing, and then it's an interruption. Uh, so we want everybody to be clear on everything, and if you're living not clear on everything, the only thing we're saying to you is just go with the flow. Uh, you're doing Ghana for 10 days. It's fast-paced, um, and we're just trying to make sure you get the best experience as possible. So we're asking people not to stress or sweat petty things. Uh, Ghana is not like your South Africa four-star hotel. We're dealing with uh, two-star hotels, Accra and three-star in Kumasi, and then we have bed and breakfast in Cape Coast and Elmina. Those are the decisions on hotels made when we put the package together and we made sure everybody got access to it before we accepted any deposits or anything. So nothing has changed from what you have and then we have documentation where you can always click on the links in those hotel and check out what they have. And all of us are staying in the same place and um, anyone who wants any upgrade, they'd have to pay it, upgrade out their own pocket. Uh, so once again, family, this is the same journey that we've done over the years and years. Um, different members of our family come, friends and everyone, and they've enjoyed it to the highest level. But the only issue that we have is usually one or two people that's just out of sync with what's going on. And the only thing we say to those folks is please leave the drama and leave whatever uh, back in America. Just enjoy yourself because the worst thing is when you have one or two people spoiling everyone's energy. It's kind of like, you know, people say, you know, and, you know you're blowing my high. And it's, you know, it's being dead serious. Uh, so one of the big issues that I had was on the last tour, people were having breakfast and then this two angry couple, just because they came from a four-star hotel, and then now we had Cape Coast, Elmina, which we expanded people over and over. We were doing bed and breakfast right by the ocean. You know, so don't, you know, they were spoiled by some, we, had, we, we almost never have these hotels, but when we went to Takarati for two days, we had this fancy hotel, and it was just what it is. Um, and the hotel that we stayed at was booked, so we offered a couple an uh, upgrade because that's what the management for the hotel offered uh, since uh, they explained whatever reason why the rooms that we had weren't available. Uh, so maybe they got spoiled or so on, but I want everybody to understand you're not paying for any, uh, a hotel booking or anything specific. You're paying for a tour, an adventure, an experience. And it, and it has a brand new bus. Uh, it has a full staff of people that's running around making sure everything is good for you. And we have people that are watching out for you, like when you go at nighttime, making sure that you don't have any drama or any problems. You know, you have all those things taken care of for you. So that's the only thing we ask everyone to just enjoy. And then if you really have an issue, I'm easy to find. You can pull me to the side and talk to me and share whatever you need to share. And then we fix it for you and move on. But for someone to be consistent problematic on something like this is not accepted and we and the worst case scenario those two people are put off the trip because the rule that the one thing that is there's no way around once we do all we can do for you and you turn around and disrupt and badmouth us in front of everybody and just do some oh disrespect us up it's not going to happen we will have you escorted and you can be transferred to another city or go to another um, hotel and that's just being real with everyone that we travel with. You know, we don't, you know, because one thing, when I got I fired the entire staff about a year ago, and I tell them, I was like, if I was white, you guys would not act like this towards me. And I was like, just be respectful. Um, we're here looking out for you, making sure we're good. And then most important that you have everyone else that have done all the things we asked them to do. They don't deserve to be disrespected and to, you know, and for scenes to be made while they're enjoying their journey. So... Me, myself, and my staff, all of us, you know, we're going to all be on our best behavior and appreciate everything that Ghana has to offer us from the different hotels to the food to the energy to entertainment and everything and make the best of it. And, you know, like I said, family, anything you have an issue with, communicate with me because I'm the one that makes the decisions and the changes. That way we can operate more efficient in the future. Um, but definitely want people to be clear that these are not four-star hotels. These are nice black-owned business hotels. And if I had any issues with these hotels, we wouldn't be staying there several years continuously. You know? uh, so anyway, our family, that's the main important thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, just to make sure that everybody stay positive and just enjoy this journey. 
Uh, this is one of the first December journeys I've done since I started, which was October 2006. So it's uh, 13 years later, back where we started in December, and it's you know everything that you've seen is all the things that we have learned and we're sharing, and then the best uh, gifts that we have and things that we want to connect you with is we finally got to the point where we just decided to put our resources together and get our own set of land that way we can accommodate our brothers and sisters more in the areas of you know when we do tours and investment. So uh, once we leave Accra, we'll be able to go to the Black Star Repatriation and Pan African Community Land, which is a 23-acre property two miles from the beach, um, about two miles away from uh, Winneba, and three miles away from the main road. Uh, so it's in a beautiful tropical area, and our goal is to get pictures and videos by the beach and interview all of the people that's involved in the project as far as the lawyer, uh, the landowner, and consultants, and uh, people who did the, did the survey and things like that. A step up from the other that we're dealing with, uh, which is Garvey Town. Uh, it's one of those things where I'm just being honest with everybody. It's like, you know, in, you know, in the world of business, you have to be able to accommodate the people that you're doing things with. Uh, you can't force them into accepting certain things. You know, it's just not going to happen. Just like, it's just like if I was on a tour and I was telling you guys that I'm going to have a bunch of Asians and a bunch of white folks on the tour bus with you and we're all going to be singing multicultural songs and talk about Rainbow Nation, I would be out of business or it would just be a bunch of confusion. Uh, um, but, you know, so it's like you have to stick to a flow where if you're going to say certain things, you have to let people know in documentation. And, if, you know, you have to just be able to work it. Um, and I can't tell people how to run business that are in business. It's like it's something you have to figure out. So um, anyone that's seen another project before that this is a replacement project because I told everyone uh, since they're not satisfied with how these people run business and they were running it with their British mindset, let me, you know, let me just do something that works more for you. And that's how we came up with our community. And that's after dealing with the struggle of other uh, communities like Siankra who just don't have a management system to really develop a community. Uh, so, and I'm not saying that we're experts because we're not either, but what we are is professional organizers and people who have professional skills and talents and, and great researchers and know all the right people to put this together. And yes, it's a little harder to start a ground up land project than it is to join a community. But what I realize is that people are being dishonest. Um, you go to say hey, you want to be a part of their community and they don't give you all the information. And then once they get your money, then they start telling you certain things and then trying to dictate to you what you should or should not do. Um, and so if you see anything about the Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Project, all I have is not but details for everyone to process and look through the kind of way which I wish people would treat us. That way you know what you're getting. You know, um, It's kind of like if I buy something from you and you don't disclose all information and then I find out a few things, that means you know, you're know you dishonest. Uh, so it's a simple thing like that. I'm telling everyone that we're doing our best to make sure that we're real with everyone in all aspects of business and everything. And that's what I'm telling everyone. If you have any issues or questions or anything you need to talk to me about, well, you know, even if you have to talk to me when we're out at night time at a club and you put me to the side and we talk about it, if you have to get it off your mind, I'd rather for you to do it and talk with us versus just explode in front of everyone. But um, I feel good about this, this new tour itinerary that we have in Ghana. Uh, it's more efficient. It's less moving around. And we're taken out of Takarada with all those fancy hotels that didn't really have any tour schedule there. Uh, and um, we now we just focus on Accra, Cape Coast, Elmina, and Kumasi. And what I'm recommending to everyone, again, is if you want to stay longer, stay longer. And I uh, just recommend to let me know that ahead of time with the date you want to return. And I'll let you know if, if, if Delta is going to charge you more or not. If you let me know ahead of time, a lot of times it's something I could work out, especially if it's in the same season. But the um, schedule is full to where it's not really any day off, so you have to pick the day off that you want, that you need time. Uh, so. One day I want to be clear on that because I have people who come to me at the last minute and ask me why the schedule is what it is. And I'm like, that's the first thing I have to ask you to look at. Make sure you clear up the schedule and you're fine with it. No more of an experience for your money. And basically what we try to do is maybe just explain to you like we're in Accra for three days. And um, if you need to make other moves, like, there's a bunch of different events going on in Ghana while we're there. And I tell people I don't plan our tours around events 
or we, our tours are planned around sites and educational places. So if there's concerts and other things going on. Anyone of us is more than fine to go, um, and just as long as you know the schedule when we're pulling out of of Ghana and so on. Um, because once we pull out, everyone has to get on the bus with us. Anyone who missed the bus, naturally have to find their way to the next location. Uh, so it's a situation where everyone needs to be accountable for their presence, and we don't want people giving us a hard time if they don't follow the schedule and do what they're supposed to do. There's no. It's n there's no way we can run around and keep up with everyone. Everyone has to be where the schedules say they need to be, um, and that's going to be explained to you a lot. And the only reason those things are being explained to you over and over is because even when we do that, we still have one or two people doing those things, and you know we're trying to kill all liability. All right, so family, enough of the update for um, Ghana tour. Uh, you can just click on the link, and you'll see the details. Uh, next one, Senegal and the Gambia, uh, routes to April 3rd to the 13th. Uh, right now we have a small group of people committed to it, and I'm more focused on going there and this, get some fresh documentation and some fresh energy and push it for 2021. But we still have space, and right now we have uh, it's $200 off for those who commit in this month of December. Um, it's, so your price will go from 3300 to 3100 so that's what we're offering to um, people looking to join us to Senegal and the Gambia. Now that's laid out as a five-day journey to Senegal and then three-day to the Gambia. And um, the breakdown in Senegal, we have three tour days where we just go out on tour. And then uh, the Gambia, we have uh, for the three days that we're there, we're going out for two tour days. So when you look on the itinerary, you see the flow of it, you know, tra the travel day and then day where we actually do activities. And in some days, it's, you know, it's a combination of both. Uh, so the flow of the itinerary is set to where just want to give you much of uh, Senegal. You know, we have one full day of Gori Island so you can learn about the African Holocaust. And we have a full, nice full city tour, uh, including the new African Renaissance Museum. Uh, and then we have another day that we go up to Tink Lake and then we got to do some additional shopping in these. So nice itinerary. And um, the Gambia is, sim is simple. Um, city tour of the Gambia and then another day we go to Jufri and we go to um, Punta Kente birthplace. So we deal with the African Holocaust history there in the Gambia. Uh, so those tours are set as roots tours just like our Ghana tours. And, and then there's a you know, as a combination of more things, but this is really like strictly just roots tours. Uh, not a lot of investment in business that we have in the Senegal and the Gambia or the uh, South Africa tours. I'm not saying that individual interest in those things will do our best to connect with you, but the main focus of our investment is our community in Ghana. And it's like it's hard to really think about think too far after too many things until this is uh, in place. So I'm open to doing tours to different countries, but really just focusing on the tours there and um, you know, interest in more people that go to different countries to come to Ghana also and, and build a future with us. That's you know, my mindset also to go to the different countries um, because sometimes Ghana may not be a first country or so, so but I feel that it's the ultimate country and it represents this what Africa and the future of Africa of black people should be about, you know, um, still there's no second country, not even close, with, that's offering the amount of citizenship that Ghana has offered. Uh, so those are some of the positive things that we, we should, you know, look at. Uh, so, uh, but uh, we do have people that live in South Africa and live in Senegal and the Gambia. Um, I have good friends that live there and, you know, they love the life there and I'm happy for them. And um, I just really feel people should move where they feel comfortable at. So it may take a few different experiences to experience you know, more of the continent. All right, uh, once we finish in Senegal, we're back to Ghana in May. And the reason why we have two Ghana tours is because um, I started feeling the energy of a lot of requests. So now we have uh, two nice groups. Our last group was in May of last year, and that was our 30th of us. And then this December is 20th of us. So and uh, with exception of me and a few other people, that's like 50-something uh, fresh uh, people uh, split between two tours. Something that, I mean, you can do that in one tour, but it's a little more work. But um, I'm going to see how this uh, uh, December work out. And after we come back uh, from uh, Ghana in uh, June, 
then we just have the long summer break and that's when I just try to put things together for the future. I'm open to another slot to go somewhere else. We did have uh, Brazil for a while in July, you know, the schedule before you go, you know, school starts. Uh, that, that time frame is open. Um, you know, maybe you know, one of these days we go to Tanzania somewhere, but a lot of times it's just hard to just throw a tour schedule like that without really just having you know, the energy of people are interested. So we're getting more interested, interest, so that's why you see more schedule. And uh, once we get you know, these groups uh, to Senegal and to South Africa a little bigger, then we can look at uh, some other countries. Right, and the tour that's not shown here is the uh, Ghana December tour. So that information I uh, said earlier I was going to work on. So as we scroll down some more uh, videos and photos of previous tours, so you see the YouTube link and the Facebook link, and that's our documentation. Uh, over 2,000 videos, and the videos show mainly at Ghana, then uh, Togo, Benin, Ethiopia, Brazil, South Africa. Uh, those are some of the latest countries we have been in the last few years where we have this nice uh, videos. And uh, then we look at um, the uh, Facebook link. All 16 Ghana tours I've been on, they have photo galleries. All right, so what we're going to do is just go through some of the uh, different uh, topics in the conference call. Um, it's not set to where we just go through them in numerical order. Um, and even the introduction I was doing and go through and going through certain things, we touch on a lot of these things. So again, here you see the documentation and the links. Um, the, and, uh, and we talk about tour overview, uh, visa information, and the visa information is what we always recommend is print it all out. Africa culture, customs are what to pack. Um, the preparation departure list is a good list of that, but um, depends on what country you're going to. If you come with us in South Africa in November, it's going to be cold. So when you go up to the Table Mountains, you know, you know sweater, jackets, and in the certain parts of like when we were in Johannesburg, and we had a cultural village, it's very hot. So you have to pack a multitude of things and definitely, you know, definitely want to pack something warmer. Ghana also in the nighttime you may need a sweater or a light jacket. Um, depends if you're with us in May or December. But if you're close to the water, uh, so on, you can get a little colder. Other than you can get a little chilly. Other than that, you're looking at tropical weather. So just dress as tropical and comfortable as possible. Days when we're doing a lot of walking. Um, comfortable shoes, uh, if you're doing hiking across canopy walks or doing certain things, make sure that you have you know, shoes with good grip and things like that. Um, we're, going to, we're going to be doing business conference or business gathering. Um, we're going to be going out to nightlife and eating out. Um, so you know, also put some fancy clothes. Um, and you know, we just try to make an experience where you can just have different scenes and different, um, you know, different feel for the, uh, the, the journey in the country. Right, I'm um, just breathing through some of the topics. Uh, improving your immune system. So that's one of the things we recommend you do versus uh, filling yourself up with a bunch of drugs. Improving your immune system is just adjusting your, your body to the highest level of health and wellness. So the document that's on the website on the different tour links, when you click on it, does give you some good advice about building your immunity. Um, I don't have a bunch of language translation, but I do have one that's, that stands out, the English to Ghana tree, which is on the Ghana page. And eventually I'll work on some popular ones for South Africa and also work on the ones for Gambia and Senegal. Uh, as time goes along, and those are two tours we just, two other tours we just get going. So the goal is to put, you know, build those documentation. Talk about the departure reminder list. It's literally one of the most important lists, and it gives you the time of when you, to, when you have to meet up at the different locations, and just give you reminders of all the most important things. Uh, nine, um, airline tickets, um, just please make sure that when we give you the information for your airline ticket, just read through it clearly and don't do a so quick reply. You have to log into your ticket, check it out, make sure everything is good. Right, and as I was saying about the uh, ticket information, um, I have a Delta link there, but also there's a, a KLM and an Air France link, so that's the Delta Sky team and that's what we do our booking with. Uh, we book it with Delta and then whatever flight se segments they have, and just work that out. Uh, we just work that out with them. So most of the flights are going to take you to France or Amsterdam, unfortunately. But um, we're limited on uh, connection options. So when you see those things that you're booking, it's you know what it is. So be clear about what country you're going and where you're connecting to. 
because uh, like in our Ghana tour coming up, we're flying from Amsterdam to Ghana, but then we're leaving from Ghana to France, and then France to wherever we are in the U.S. Like the Ghana journey, we have we have the tour T-shirt we wear to like the city tour, and the combination of uh, red, black, and green uh, we also wear during a um, first African Holocaust Day at the Sin Manso, and then we were white at the second uh, second Ancestor Day at Cape Coast um, Holocaust Dungeons. Our school supplies uh, is one of the things we're collecting for children in Ghana, and um, these are some terminology that I've changed uh, since we are doing the same thing for other countries. Uh, it's not as big, but just trying to usually just get a few people to bring some supplies in. You know, we share it with one orphanage or one school, uh, and then just you know, try to share, you know, spread some love as best as possible. And, and things like that. All right, family, and um, the rest of the stuff talks more about investment and certain other things. Uh, so what I'm, what I'm going to do is stop right there, and I'm going to I'm going to take us out of uh, lecture mode. Put everyone in uh, the regular uh, muted mode. So you, all you have to do is press star six to unmute yourself, and then uh, give your name, uh, where you're calling from, and then your question. Um, multitude of information that's on the uh, newsletter that was sent to everyone via email and a reminder was sent out uh, today. So that's the document we're dealing with and it has all of the links that you need for the tour, for videos um, and so videos and, uh, and other uh, important information. Uh, so literally this it may look long. It has all the valuable information for you to be clear on. Hello. Uh, greetings, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Sure. All right, uh, Joyce, will you call, uh, the name, where you calling from, and your question, please. I'm from Florida. All right, guide with your question. Thank you for putting the trip together. And I just had one quick question. Did I understand you correctly when you said the Garvey Town has been totally canceled? Uh, yes, and but it's, yes, absolutely. I can't, it's not something we're working with. I'm taking everyone to a project that we'll put our money together as a group of people and made group decisions to benefit. Okay. I'm, I'm happy to hear that, Damani. You know why? Sure. I, I just didn't have a good feeling about it. I didn't want to sound negative, but I didn't get good vibes from them, and I'm glad you are making a new selection. So. The only thing I would say to everyone is that it's one of those things where no, like a lot of people didn't say anything, and that was the problem. It's like I tell people, like I'm a real person. I'm gonna be real with you. If something is going on, I don't look good. I'm gonna holler at you and let you know. Only time people did that is when I said that we can't move forward with this anymore because the level of professionalism is not working, and I can't do business with people who are just completely unorganized. When I'm a pride in efficiency and organization and logistic operation. Okay, well, I'm, I'm a realtor. I'm a real estate agent. That's why I was concerned. So kudos to you for picking something else. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. We have to keep moving forward regardless. We can't let uh, one or two stupid black people stop us from, from, you know, from building something where we need to build for our own brothers and sisters. Hey, we can do it. We can we're do it. We'll we're always have. And the same thing I was saying with the tours, we're not going to let one or two people get in our way of us enjoying ourselves. And if we have to remove two people, then we have to do what we have to do. So the same thing with Garvey Town, we have to just stop business with them and do what we needed to do just to make sure things are good. And All right. I just All right. Do that with a lot of different people. And you know, some always tell people, like, I'm, not the, I'm the person that's doing what I'm supposed to do. It's like, but it's like I can't let someone else kill what we have built for so many, you know, for, for this uh, test of time. And right now, um, a lot of people are feeling, looking to live and do business in a country like uh, Ghana. And th their project would be ideal if, if you know, if they, if they literally be that student that went to Business 101 and listened to Business 101 and follow it, you know. But they decide they want to do something else, and you know, so on. So um, um, it's one of those things where if you know people we're dealing with that they can't follow certain modern. Like I'm telling people, I'm not going to stoop down to my level of professionalism to meet anyone. Uh, you know, I'm a pride our game and stepping our game up. So. I try to get them to elevate their game and things like that. Uh, so I don't think they're that terrible for people. I just think that um, they're, they're the typical black people. Um, that, that, and most of us have it in ourselves. It's like we want certain things, but then 
when it comes to when we find out what we have to do to achieve it, then next thing you know, we're just like, oh, no. You know, so I think they're stuck in that mode of, you know, of fantasizing about Marcus Garvey and thinking that this is going to just be something that they, you know, it's like Garvey put work in, and it's like, you know, it's like, stop abusing the man's name. So that's one of the bad things that, you know, that we got to fix is to get them to shut that name that they're disrespecting and dishonoring the ancestors. Especially that's one of the hardest working ancestors, you know, and the biggest movement, and then you're going to name your community after that, and then you don't put the work in. Like, they right. don't do basic marketing, like, you couldn't find anything online. I had to teach them that you have to put things online, and it's like, it's like, I understand it, some of them may be a little older, but it's like, what I'm going to the other generations of your family, it's like, when we're doing things, we have to get other people involved in the movement. It's like, if I'm running the movement, I'm not as technology advanced, and who in my, who in my family and so on can do those things? Uh, so... I didn't all just completely criticize them. I talked to them and tried to help them understand that if you're going to deal with black people, especially black people in America, you have to understand the mentality and the energy and what's going on. And the same thing just like any other person that has to deal with, you know, having to accommodate or cater to certain people for, for business. You have to know your customers and things like that. So, But nevertheless, I tell people that um, I'm thankful for the opportunity you know, that they lost out on and instead of me trying to deal with that now I can work with my own brothers and sisters and I was putting something together strong so look forward to sharing with you more I just um, uploaded the last conference call recording and once we get to Ghana we're going to put this documentation together nice and and let's build something that is going to make our brothers and sisters and us as a people proud so when people like yourself tell me that you know you had concerns I kind of like you know that's what we want people to do is be confident so it, it shows me that we did the right thing so thank you for you know your feedback Thank you. Because I've heard that like from several people in the last 24 hours. <laughs> okay. Well, God wouldn't let it go through. Yeah, and the, the ancestors are powerful. I'm telling people, the ancestors, you know, and the you know, creator and the energy of this, us. Yeah, well, but uh, nevertheless, um, uh, let me know if you have another question so I can answer your question. And I kind of just got... That was it. All right, perfect. So, um, yeah, so perfect, yeah, so look forward to having those videos up of that new community for you. So we'll keep you posted, and I'll be back early January, so. Should I mute my microphone now? Uh, yes, you can uh, mute your microphone. Hi, right, family, um, line is open for questions. I went through the majority of our conference call email that was on the newsletter. Brother Bomani. Hey, greetings, Juma. How are you? I am fine, brother. Can I go on this trip too? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> to to, um, to Senegal. Oh, absolutely, man. It's, uh, I'm looking forward to people like yourself going. Actually, it's, you know, it's kind of a journey I'm, that you know, after a while, folks is like, you go anywhere else other than Ghana. I was like, yeah, I'm working on it. You know, but you know, but uh, it's one of the countries that I felt good about when I went there. Um, Senegal was yeah. literally my first country I'm, that I went to. And Gambia was right. my. Uh, hey, w go ahead. Would I have to take another uh, yellow fever shot? You don't have to do yellow fever. Um, um, you don't have to do it. You know, you don't have to do any vaccination. Like, there's no laws that any of those countries say if you don't have vaccination, they won't let you in. So you're good on that. Only thing that you okay. have to do is you have to get a visa for the Gambia. For Gambia. And uh, the address and everything is on your site, and then I can expect to get that back in how long? How um, long yeah, they, they take a, yeah, they're a little more efficient, and you can call them also. They'll literally answer their phones, unlike the folks at the Ghana Embassy. Um, so, um, you know, you're looking at about seven to ten days. Oh, is that all? Okay, that's good. Yeah, so what you have to do, you know, just like, you know, uh, once you go on the site and you click on um, the tour link, just click on print. You know, you know me, I have, I have everything typed up and organized on there. So um, the last time that I went to Ghana, I literally came to you and put the money into your hand. And um, I won't be able to come out uh, there this time, but I just want to pay for it. I think the whole, I think 3700 will cover me for a single room, right? Send that to you in writing, and I'll be able to send you a link to payment options. And then uh, recommend Zelle Pay, but you can just pay it whichever way, from mailing them money or order or a check or uh, doing. I mean, it's, I don't have a limited, you know, you know. People like myself, I don't believe in having limited amount of ways to receive payments. So 
Um, the payment option literally gives you a few options and you see what best works for you. Some have fees and some don't, so I usually recommend Zelle Pay. And that has no Well, I mean, but you wouldn't have been, if I was to send it to you directly, you wouldn't have any objections to that, right? No, man. Hey, you're talking about somebody that don't turn money down unless, it's, uh, unless, uh, unless somebody's trying to get me to sell my soul. <laughs> but no, you can mail the money. You no, know. I mean, yeah. Yeah, because even though it would be snail mail, as, as I mean, they, you know, they call it, it would, be, it, would, it would be at your place within about seven days. Yeah, if you're going to send that type of money, you know, what I always recommend is just do like, you know, do a, a certified mail, not certified mail, that takes even longer. Um, and it's not about the length. You can just do a, a two-day mail, FedEx, UPS, or post office. And then you have tracking and some kind of base, basic insurance uh, for it. And then it's, um, yeah. and it still costs you less than a, a transfer cost fee. And then uh, by, by using that method, you're insured to receive it because you can't get it until you sign for it, huh? Uh, on the overnight mail or one day mail, you have to sign for it. But um, you don't have to sign for it, the, the two day mail unless you put a request for it. But um, I mean, I don't think it's two days. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you on your end. If you yeah, I send a certified mail to you. Yeah, and the certified is fine. And, and if I don't, uh, sometimes I'm uh, just I'll do an appointment. So if I'm not here. Um, you know, whenever they leave the thing in the mail, I go pick it up from them. The post office is less than a mile away. Okay. Yeah. Well, so like you said, you'll send me a link with all the payment options, and then I'll choose the best one. All right, perfect. Let us text a note, uh, and I got you. And we'll work it out. Yeah. Well, yeah, thanks for showing your interest. Do you have any uh, question about the itinerary for um, Senegal and the Gambia? No, nah, man, all of that's on your website. I just thought I would tune in today just to be able to thank you for a wonderful trip that um, I went on with you to Ghana. That meant the world to me. I waited my whole life to be able to do that. And uh, oh, I, I, did kind of, I did kind of wonder how come we didn't go on that plane that was turned into a restaurant? Oh, yeah, um, that is a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. I, wanted, I always wanted to go on there, and I just never been on there. But uh, yeah, where is that plane? That is literally by the airport. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, okay. it's, uh, by the airport, airport restaurant. It's like right outside the airport, uh, by airport district, or airport. Um, I should say airport city, and then by airport residential. Well, look, Bomani, I'm gonna get off right now, and I will see you in Gambia. I cool you and I don't have my video on. Uh, there's just less, less interference, but your video showed real good. This, Thank uh, you. Technology is getting better, and everything's. But you can see the uh, well, I've got the screen sharing, right? Right. That's a, yeah, I mean, this is what you get when you have an Apple computer, you know. You know, it's, <laughs> it's Apple computer, Windows computer. They all do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, have to use, I have to use these things to the highest level. The only difference is you have a lot more technology advanced uh, flexibility when you're building these Windows systems, cause especially build them custom build and things like that. But ne nevertheless, uh, right. you know, it's, it's like I tell people, it's not the machine, it's the person using the machine. You have to, you know, these things are all high tech stuff. <laughs> but yeah, but um, but yeah, I got, I need to get me a brand like Apple, so somebody pay me twice as much for a computer. Oh, there I am. <laughs> There I am. I just saw myself. Oh, um, yeah, I just uh, put everything back on regular screen share. Um, see, there you go. You can see yourself yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, I'll, I'll talk note. to you guys later. All right, absolutely. So I made a note. So, family, that's what we're looking for. Um, we're looking for a few more people. Uh, right now, it is six of us, so that is a good number. All right, so family, uh, so let me... I meet you. All right, family, uh, star six to unmute yourself. And uh, let me know what questions you have. So I'm hoping that a um, few people had questions. All right, so family, that is a conference called Topics. And um, like I was saying, I don't go through these things sequential anymore. And spend more time just going over different topics. Bomani. Bomani. All right, greetings. Uh, this is Bomani. Who am I speaking to? Where are you calling from? Ah, uh, 
This is Sharon calling from Detroit. Hey, uh, Green Sharon, how's everything? Hi, right, everything is fine. You know what? I, I thank you for walking me through a whole bunch of stuff and getting uh, getting me all set up. And for my trip, I uh, I really I'm really excited. We only have a few. I'm really excited, <laughs> and we only have a few days left. <laughs> you know, I am so excited to uh, uh, meet you all in uh, Amsterdam. Oh yes, Amsterdam, December twenty fifth meetup. Looking forward to it. Okay, so I am on the line this time with Jeanette. All right, perfect. So uh, this is what, what I have set up for you. Um, I have you, I have you for us. Um, I have you leaving on, on I have you leaving on January first, and I have one of my assistants. They, they're going to take you to the airport and assist you, um, both of you, to make sure that you're good for your flight. Okay, good. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, Thank all of you. Reaffirm to you that all of that is, is taken care of, and then when we get to in country the day before that situation, we'll talk. And um, you know, get your game plan to get your bags and get things together. And make sure that um, you know, no one packs your bag on the bus. You know, things like that. Uh, you know, that's okay. Now, will we be going to any like fast food places um, where you can buy the fabric? Oh, fabric! Oh, absolutely. Um, you're gonna you're, you're gonna have more shopping available in Ghana than you can imagine, and you're gonna have time for it. Okay. Because what what we have is a lot of guys that um, that we know, they'll come, they'll fought, they'll they'll meet us at the hotels and they'll be available to offer you things right there on the spot. Okay. Uh, and the same. Okay, great. Uh, Kumasi and Cape Coast, Elmina. So this. Okay, great. Perfect. And let me make a note while I'm talking to you. Um, you have another question? What did you say? Do you have another question? Oh, no, I'm fine. All right, well, excellent. Let me put you back on mute. And... All right, also, family, for those who are going to Ghana, um, one of the main thing is we have, we have someone that's going to exchange the money for us, uh, So, which um, the best thing to do is bring big bills of 50 and $100 bills so you can get a higher exchange rate. And um, when you get to the country, uh, we'll get it worked out for you. Other than that, um, family, uh, it's star six to meet yourself. Uh, we're getting ready to leave for Ghana in nine days. Uh, so this is especially for the people that are traveling to Ghana. Um, just want to see if anyone have any questions about anything. I already have everyone on the WhatsApp page saying text me or communicate with me because when I get to the country, I'm trying to enjoy it just like everyone else, and we don't want to have to go over all the things that we could have gone over. And the same thing I'm saying to you earlier that we're going to use the bus as a way to, to talk about everything we're going to do in the daytime, in the morning, and then when we get off, before we get off the bus, talk about everything we're going to do the next day. That way, we're going over a schedule ahead of time, but at the same time, too, we're telling you that it's typed up in the book. That way, you're clear about what we do and how our movements are. And so, after going through all of this, you know, we expect everybody just to be prepared, and that's how we uh, pull off these journeys, because people actually how we move around with all these people, you know, we've you know, just like anything else, you want to be successful. You plan ahead of time and you put the work in to make sure it's organized. Uh, so, and then you have the journey of a lifetime. I did mention about the Facebook page where all the f photos are, and this is something that you have to look at. Uh, YouTube videos. I don't stop putting videos on YouTube. I got still a bunch of uh, South Africa videos uploaded, and I still got about seven more Ghana videos from May to upload. I've been, and I've been uploading those things religiously for the last continuously and I've still got videos. It's one of those things that uh, I remember when I first started going to Africa, I was like, people are not going to believe this. So we just, I've just gotten to the mindset that I just, everything needs to be recorded and documented. Hi, Bomani. Uh, greetings. Um, who am I speaking to? Hi, this is, this is Karen from Japan. Uh, greetings, Karen. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, doing well. Doing well. Just uh, getting ready for the Ghana journey in nine days. I know. I kind of wish I was going. But I guess I'll wait for my Senegal and Gambia trip. Oh, yes. Absolutely. It would be just as nice. 
A uh, question about that. Um, I know we were waiting to hear from Delta whether they would be able to take my flight. And I was just wondering if you had heard anything back from that yet. Yes, you know what, um, that is a good question because usually um, literally like two days after I spoke to you, um, I was given a clarity that they had a flight, that they had an Air France flight for you to connect you to Paris. And okay. um, usually they get back to me, but uh, it's one of those things where I hadn't called them back, so I need to call them. So thanks for the reminder. Let me make a note to call them in the morning, and then they'll be able to give me the price. I'm sure it was worked out, or if not, usually they work it out, um, but whenever they have to do a, a, a flight that's outside of their normal sequence, they got to do some special stuff. Right, just so, maneuvering. Uh, um, so it work out. Do you know... Do you know off the top of your head what city they were flying out of in Japan? Yeah, they mentioned Narita on uh, Air France. Okay, Narita. Okay. All right. So, and another quick question. Um, do you think that next year, 2020, you're going to do another December trip to Ghana? Yeah, you know, and it's my fault. I also have that stuff up already. Still trying to process with the dates. Uh, but I have to okay. set up uh, to do December 23rd to June 3rd. And But what I'm literally going to do after I go to this itinerary and touch it up, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put it out there uh, sometime uh, this week. But uh, those are the closest days I can think of, the 23rd to the 3rd of January, um, okay. uh, similar to these dates. Uh, does those, those dates work for, work for you? I'm sure probably work for most people, right? Yeah, I, I think it will work pretty well for, for, for us. And I, I'm thinking about it because I'm thinking about doing a family trip with uh, the grandbabies. So if I, if I know that we're going to be able to do it early, then I can put my coins together. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, th that, is, that is a go. I even got the positive for it already and, um, from people who couldn't make this one. Um, okay. That, uh, so yeah, so so those I'm making a note of those two things, and even so, you know, I could probably get the flown of the December tour going early and just get that up uh, tomorrow. So thanks for the heads up on that one. I'll just I'll actually start publishing that tomorrow also, December 2020. All right then. Okay, so I'll just I'll just look out for anything that you've got on flight information and safe travels. Have a good trip to Ghana, and we'll talk to you soon. Uh, definitely, and also family, um, for everyone in general, while we're in Ghana, if you need to communicate with me, just email me, and the other option uh, is via WhatsApp. But if you call us uh, the regular phone number, it's just going to go to voicemail, and, um, and I do my best to check those voicemail, but usually I don't get a chance to check it until I get back here. So any important information, uh, WhatsApp, uh, instead of calling this, this number, just you go to WhatsApp and send a message and it'll just get to me uh, instantly. And uh, then email, you know, I check those religiously uh, like 20, 20 times, 20, 30 times a day. The most effective method of just communicating because everything is in, you know, writing and there's a response back. So I tend to use that more than anything else. So family, um, we are ready for these uh, journeys and just want to make sure everybody is clear and also just want to get everybody's focus on it and ex to enjoy the best time of your life and literally and it's the time that you're going to reflect back on and say I was with my brothers and sisters and I was able to share a real powerful black African experience and um, so a lot of times you don't get a chance to connect or organize like this but this is set to where we can do this um, on the mother continent and just you know, connect with each other and talk about the future. So it's uh, more than just a, you know, a journey, it's also a connection for the future and the future of our children and the future of this Africa itself. And you know, you know, when you're in the continent, you realize that the continent, the future of the continent is going to take all of us in the diaspora on the continent to make things work. So family, uh, it's uh, star six to meet yourself. I'm um, gonna just open the line up for a few more questions and then close. Uh, give your name, where you're calling from, and your question. Greetings, my name is Rhonda. I'm calling from Rex, Georgia. Uh, I greetings, Rhonda. How are you? Welcome. Hello, my neighbor. Yes, I'm thankful. I'm thankful to be on the line, but I came in late. 
So I wanted to know if I will be able to have access to the recording because I missed everything as far as the itinerary for the Senegal Gambia tour. Yeah, um, it's uh, not much you um, miss. Um, everything we went over is an overview. Um, so yes, uh, the recording you'll be able to get uh, in a few days um, as I uh, edit the uh, recording. But as far as uh, Senegal and Gambia, uh, have you been on our website to take a look at the tour itinerary? Okay. No, I'm saying have you been on there to check out the tour itinerary on our website? I have not. I have not. I just had received the email, and I remembered that the conference call was tonight concerning the tour. But I, you know, I, unfortunately, I got on the call late. Um, the conference call email is set to where um, you just have to click on the links. Um, what we're doing is going through the call and explaining the information on there, and it's giving a few highlights and breakdown. But once you click on the Senegal and the Gambia, uh, it will reroute to our website to where you can just go through the full itinerary, the tour overview, uh, general terms, the visa information for the Gambia, uh, preparation and departure list. And that will give you full clarity, and then you can just jot some questions down, and then you can just call me directly, and then we can just talk about it. Um, the conference I have is you know, definitely for questions, but um, more so just documenting that we're doing the things that we're doing uh, so no one can say that we're not doing it. We're making sure we have calls available, and we're making sure that we have documentation available. Okay, thank you, thanks. Uh, definitely, um, and um, uh, the tour is set for April, um, April 3rd to the 13th. So are those dates that um, will work for you? Yes. 3700 is the package? 3700 is for the Ghana and South Africa tour. The oh. Senegal and Gambia tour is it's a little simpler tour, and we're able to cut a lot of costs. It's 3300 and then if you make a deposit this month, it's uh, 3100 Okay. So let Thank me get you. So let me get your first and last name. I'm going to write your number down. I can just let me get an email. I'll send a text and you can just send your, your email address. Okay. What is, what is the number? Rhonda Cooper is the last name. Rhonda, we have spoken before. Do I have your number? All right. Um, I will uh, communicate with you and just uh, take a look at the information for now and then uh, we'll talk. And um, it's, it seems like I got you an email list already, so I'm sure I have your number here. Welcome with you, and I'm glad you uh, decided to join us. I remember trying to get you to come to Ghana with us for a long time. <laughs> yes, I still haven't gone there yet, but, you know, I have life, so everything is everything, and it's possible. Yeah, perfect, um, and this um, may work out better for some people, um, and then yeah, next time we get you around to Ghana. So it's all good. Yeah. Good thing. All right, perfect. All right, so, uh, well, thank you for your question and your energy, and I uh, look forward to connecting with you. Let me uh, mute you and see if we have anyone else available for any last-minute question, and then we're going to close the call. All right, call. I give your name where you're calling from and your question. Hey, Bomani, it's Matrell. Can you hear me? Uh, greetings, Matrell. Um, how are you doing? And um, I'm good. What's on your mind? Well, I was I wanted to know. All right, so on the itinerary it says that we're going to have like there's like a business conference that's going to be going on. Is that I mean, the people that are going to be there are they like um, looking for um, projects to invest in? Like if we have like business plans or anything like that, is that something we need to bring with us, or is it not that kind of meeting? Uh, it's every, everything we're doing is an introduction. So um, we're basically sharing information about how to do business in Ghana and who to connect with and how to move and proceed. Uh, we have representation of you know, even health and wellness and people who have you know, been here and lived here now in Ghana. And uh, mm -hmm. so that presentation is like a 90-minute to a two-hour presentation um, in a conference room at the Mikan Hotel. That's December 27th. That's a Friday. And then for December 29th, we'll actually go to the land and we talked to a different set of people. Um, I was not able to get the same people for the land at the uh, conference, and maybe we can do that in the future. But uh, at least I know I have separate you know, time to get separate information from them. And so, yeah, and it, you, you will have a few people there, but it, it, it's basically to, to build a connection with you. Even the Black Star Line Credit Union is there, which is there to just help us with accounts. So, you know, it's a basic uh, setup. But then, in cases where you do have people who want to meet people, 
to do business with them and vice versa or looking for people to connect with them uh, so um, but during the whole time of the journey itself you know if you're open to business and investing and you want to bring certain things I would say bring it be prepared um, be prepared to do a presentation a lot of times we have space and time to where if you want to share something with a group or other people you can do that also but definitely be prepared for everything you're looking to do and especially since you're staying longer um, that will you know you'll be able to eventually meet people in that line of you know what you're talking about I requested for, to get Dr. Sharita to be there, so that's a good connection right there uh, alone. Okay. Is anybody from the um, African American Association of Ghana going to be there? You know, I usually have one or two of them come through, um, uh, but as of lately, not much energy from them. Same thing, we try to reach out to the, uh, folks in the Caribbean Association. And sometimes okay. you know, they can bring people, sometimes they can't. But, um, and then, uh, you know, folks have a lot of different reasons and excuses and things, but we honestly just do our best to try to invite the folks from the African diaspora and good folks that, and energy that we have that, that are there in Ghana that understands what we're dealing with. So I have, you know, usually have um, one law group at least there to talk about mm -hmm. legal aspects of doing business. So and it's that kind of conference. Um, look forward to doing some bigger type of conference, but for now a lot of our folks are just trying to open their mind to actually want to live and do things in Africa. And then when we do the community project, that's you know, for those who want to do bigger investments, you know, we have access to land once we build that foundation that we have, it, you know, and we'll be able to get land for people who want to build mansions or they want to build waterfront projects or whatever it may be. Okay. And then and my last question, Bamani, um, I know you said that you're going to get SIM cards or whatever when we get there. We're going to get SIM cards. Is that something you're going to purchase once you get there? Because um, if so, I wanted to know, is it possible for me to go along because I need to get a hot spot? Uh, yes, absolutely. If you want to miss part of your tour to do that, you can do that. Uh, I'll have one of our guys. He'll be doing that and bringing it back. But, um, you know, the goal is to write down everything that we all need and, and you, you know, we all have to give him our passports. And um, then whatever the cost is, we just get the money to him and he'll take care of it. And then you can just okay. enjoy your tour. So the goal is to, I need to just uh, talk with him ahead of time. Um, that way we can just have it planned out. Send a message in a WhatsApp group, or you know, or you, know, you and I can do that and find out who needs certain things, and we just make a list. But then, whenever we do that, then we go there. Half the people change their mind, and then a new set of people want certain things. When, when we actually get to the country, we just take a list of everyone who wants those things, uh, like right away, and then the next day we go take care of it because the next day is going to be a weekday, so it's easy to get those things taken care of. So Ghana is a country that celebrates this holiday, so certain things may be closed. So on the, the next day, the 26th, I'll be able to take care of it for you. And meanwhile, while you're doing that, what you can do, um, we'll all just be using the uh, hotel um, Wi-Fi to just connect and using our apps to communicate, like uh, WhatsApp and uh, email and things like that. All right, so family, uh, let me not hold everyone. I appreciate everyone joining the conference call. And once again, family, all information that I talk about is on the newsletter that I sent with all the links. And um, relatively, everything is rerouted to the website and the social pages for documentation. So process any information you need to process and reach out to me. And uh, if you're looking for payment options on the website, there's a payment options. And you can be clear about the different options of payments and then just communicate with me. And if it's something I'm supposed to send to you or email to you or get to you and I don't get it, like I said, I was supposed to just send me a message, a quick reminder via text or email and I'll take care of that. And it's preferable that you know, messages are sent. That way I just work from the messages that's sent. Uh, and then I got a list of just important notes um, of things to get taken care of. But family, everything is taken care of for our journey for Ghana in December. So please, everyone, just make sure you claim your tickets, and we'll see everyone at the airport for a meet and greet on the 24th and also on the 25th. On the 24th in Atlanta, for those who are coming to Atlanta, and then the 25th in Amsterdam, which is everybody else. So other than that, family, uh, you take care, and I'll be on standby uh, for your communication or if you have any questions or anything. And uh, beyond that, I'm getting myself ready for us to leave us for Ghana in nine days. So. Family, take care, and um, look out for your communication and reach back out. Uh, so everyone, good night, and I'm going to unmute everyone. All right, so family, good night. Everyone is unmuted. Uh, take care.